All right, so got two packages today. One of them is for the next giveaway. The other one is something that's going to be used for personal use. And uh, there will be no editing in this video as far as putting green screen up or doing any type of, uh, you know, fancy editing, whatever. Because uh, I want you to see what I'm going to see when I unpack these two. So let's get started. Well, if you hear any noise in the background, I apologize for that. I have the exhaust fan on inside of the workshop. I had a cigarette, so I wanted to clear the smoke, literally. Now, I hate when people ship in the boxes that uh, uh, the guitars come in like this. Unless this is in another box, then that'll be that'll be pretty good. That's pretty pretty damn good. But these boxes here, even though they are thick walled, um, they could get crushed between the neck and the body something can happen with the headstock I'm sure there's probably styrofoam inside of here but I'd rather have boxes like that than like this and if I ship a box out like this uh, the box is going to be oversized for the guitar and it better be very very thick walled otherwise I won't ship like that so let's get a crack in here step step all right so let's get this thing opened up. I don't know what kind of tape they used on here, but the razor blade's not really cutting it too well. Mm -hmm. I'm left-handed. I'm holding the camera with my left hand. I'm on a swivel chair. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass here. Bear with me. Packing tape is thicker than normal packing tape that I normally would see and it doesn't look like they used like multiple layers of tape on here exception of possibly the corners so let's get this thing open Now this guitar, I want to say this guitar is what they call a uh, factory second. Now some of you guys don't like the factory second guitars, but to be honest with you, I really don't mind them. The flaws that may be on the guitar, most of the time, especially with Ibanez, all the factory seconds I've had, and I've had probably three of them now, this might be a uh, fourth. The only thing that I found that was could have made it a factory second was possibly the uh, the finish. There was a little bit of a flaw somewhere on the finish, and normally, norm, normally you can't even see it. So let's see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then we have more cardboard, more tape to cut. All right. Well, I do have to say that you know it, it is packed fairly well. I wouldn't say the best, but fairly well. And I think I'm going to need two hands right now, so uh, bear with me. <coughs> when I ship out, I'm a bubble wrap freak. When I ship things out, there's a lot of bubble wrap. Alright, so it's got the plastic over the pick guard. It's got the plastic over the uh, pickup still. Oh, this is actually quite nice. Oh, God. Patch cords. Do you know how many patch cords I have? I'm going to have to share that with you one of these days. Action height looks like where I would set it to. Now, the only flaw that is on this, and I'm not even sure if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, goody. And 
owner's manual, always good to have. And here's the tag that usually comes on it. Now this is a GRG, oops, 131DXBKF. The only flaw that is on this guitar is right in this corner over here. There are like, uh, if you know what a fisheye looks like, it is basically a bubble in the finish and it popped, okay? And it looks kind of like a fisheye. They're over here. There's a couple of them right over here in this corner and I already knew about that, uh, but there's still finish under it. So this is flat black with the red. Uh, volume, tone, feels good. One, two, three, four, five way switch. So these are going to be split. Still has the plastic. Still has the plastic on the body or the pick guard. I gotta peel that off. Red shark tooth inlays, red binding, uh, flat black. And how do you know a guitar is a uh, factory second? Well, there will be an S stamped in the back of the headstock. That's a good dead giveaway right there. So let's get a little closer at this thing and uh, show it to you now that I got my handprints all over it. All right, so here she is. This is where my grubby hands are. Got some dust on it. That's the only bad thing that's going to be about flat black is you think gloss black is bad as far as getting handprints on there. Flat's just as bad. So I don't know if you could see that. There you go. See those little dimples right there? That's what made this a factory second. And... Again, it still has plastic on everything, plastic on the pick guards, or the uh, pickups. Not bad. Show the back. String through. Again, my friggin' hand prints. Now, the one thing I like about these Ibanez neck, Ibanez, eh, Ibanez necks is they feel really, really thin. This feels very nice, very, very smooth. It does have a scarf joint, and this is the S I was talking about on the factory second. Don't be scared of them. If you find them on eBay and you see that there's, uh, uh, you know, they say it's got a flaw from the factory and stuff, nine times out of ten, you're not going to find that flaw. It's going to be something that you're not really going to see. So again, that's one. So let's get cutting into the other. All right, so off to box number two. And uh, remember when I said that I had a lot of these patch cords? Well, I wasn't kidding. I have a lot of these patch cords and uh, yeah, there's a whole bundle here. There's two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There's fourteen of these here. Normally I throw these away, but for some reason I end up keeping and holding on to them. So, yeah, I buy a lot of guitars. All right, on to the next one. Now this one is in a pretty large box, marked fragile all over it. And this will be shipped in this box to whoever wins it. Now, this is basically the same. It is the same guitar as the Ibanez Dragon's Eye that I have, which is a um, it's an RGA 42 FM DEF. This one here is the same thing without the DEF. So let's see what we got here. Very well packed. Original box? No, it's a fender box. All right, not the original box.
Alright, so very well packed again. Uh, this time with a geek bag. Pretty nice geek bag. This is very well padded. And I'm not a very big gig bag person. Alright, so there's the gig bag. Anything inside of here. It's empty. Anything inside of here. Empty. Alright, so let's get this thing out of the case. Oh boy, is this pretty. This is not a factory second. Although there is a little bit of a mark right there. But this is much prettier in person than it is on the internet. Wow. One volume, one tone, five-way selector switch, matching headstock, trap door. Yep, this is the RGA 42 FM Flame Maple in blue. This is not clear-coated, okay, so this doesn't have a shine to it. This doesn't come with a shine. Um, they're basically a satin or matte finish. Uh, <laughs> wow. No cracking on either side of the pocket. Scarf joint. And again, these necks are very, very smooth. Oh, man, this thing feels really good. All right, so let's get a closer look at this. All right, so here we go. Let's see if I can get a good angle on it. We can really see flame maple, the finish. Dotty inlays off to the side. Matching headstock. No crack on either side pocket. Got a scarf joint, no factory second, there is no S on the back of this. But on the back of the headstock, and put this back down. This is the back of the guitar. Beautiful fucking neck. Beautiful neck. The neck's not even dirty. Still has the plastic over the tuners. Uh, I don't know if this, mine didn't have plastic over these, I don't think, when I picked up mine. And it's got the original strings on them. They've got the color-coded balls. All right, so what's going to happen with this guitar? This guitar is going to be the next giveaway. See, I don't see no pick marks anywhere. Strings don't even look like they're dirty from playing it, or somebody was playing it. Like I said, this was advertised as brand spanking new. I'll end up doing a setup on this guitar here, and uh, this will be the one. I've got a lot of blue guitars. <laughs> I mean, I've got a lot of blue guitars. So, as far as having another blue one goes, um, yeah. All right, fellas, I will be back shortly with a, another video. That one might have some editing done to it, but this one will not. So, you guys take care. Have a good one. This is the unboxing of the two Ibanez guitars, the Geo and the RG series. This will be the guitar that will be given away in my next giveaway. All right, take care.